All right, howdy guys. Uh, we're here with Jacob uh, Hokewater. Uh, thanks for being here, man. I, I know I just said it one second ago, but let's make it official. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The <laughs> official thanks for being here. Glad to be here, Jared. So uh, tell us where you're at right now. I know you're not in Michigan, but that's where I met you. Uh, so where, where are you at right now? Where are you yeah, out? currently I'm at school at Belmont University in Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, great, man. What are you studying? Studying guitar, basically. Mm. Guitar and songwriting. Makes perfect sense, man. I was, I was <laughs> gonna say, you know, that new track that you have uh, that you put out earlier in the winter, beginning of the winter, uh, something new actually. Um, I was wondering, I was, I was wondering, like, what kind of schooling you've had regarding music because it sounds like somebody who knows their stuff. You know, when you're listening oh, thanks, to that man. track, you know, it's really eclectic. It's uh, just really musically involved. You know, um, for lack of a better way of putting it. Um, well, I appreciate it. Anyway, before we get too far into things, do um, you want to just start us off with the jam? Yeah, for sure. This one's called Ancient International Airport. Played it at the open mic a few times, but changed it up a bit. So Awesome. Thirteen hours trans-Pacific Turbulent snow sleep Studying the smudgy sunset From terminal bench in a heap In a haze, in a haze no vision beyond In a haze In a haze Where have you gone? Complimentary water Turn it into wine Terror across the border Where the darkness shines All the beauty of nature Love and liberty Still my mind's on dictators as I sit rich in cash and quandary In a haze, in a haze No vision beyond In a haze, in a haze Where have you gone? Watch no airplanes taxiing surgical masks to faces cling where salvation where splendor in it all We watch the world deteriorate we watch every prospect dissipate while mixing bitter gall with alcohol oh, oh. Wrestling with, wrestling with, wrestling with, wrestling with, wrestling with a stranger. Oh, and wrenching my hip, wrenching my hip, tell me your name, tell me your name, only a dream. What's it matter? Oh, so in the end then, who's to blame? Perform, permit, it's all the same. Did you just step back? Let the blame fall on Adam's name. Bro, woo! Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's uh, that's beautiful. Jazzy. Thank you. Um, 
I have noticed a lot of jazzy elements in, in things you do. Uh, is there a particular reason that you would say that is? I think a lot of it's probably high school jazz band more than I credit it. Like okay. we played a lot of kind of like blues jazz, big band stuff. Sure. And then from there, that maybe opened my mind to like Neo Soul, like Hiatus Coyote and stuff like that. So, so what was the name of that band? Hiatus Coyote. They're Hiatus after, Coyote, cool. From Australia, yeah. What would be what? Are, what are some of your other biggest influences? Would you say on your on your on your particular sound? Like what what really rubs off on you? Would you say? I'd say writing wise, as far as both content and problems like word choice david bazan he's from seattle sure um there's this band called gunger and they've done some really mm -hmm. eclectic sounding stuff over the years um that i've really dug so i'd put them up there too sufjan stevens uh with some of his like more electronic stuff that kind of opened my mind to that so okay yeah yeah I'd real artsy stuff we're talking about for sure yeah, yeah for sure no i love that i love that uh real adventurous stuff you know i've always um found myself m most intrigued by artists who you know, don't box themselves. And if you remember from open mic, I used to always start the thing by saying, you know, this is a place to get out of your box and try something new. And, and, uh, that's my philosophy in life as, as well as music. Um, I just find it real interesting with X, like, you know, I mean, probably the first band to really break down those walls and be like hard to uh, box in, I would say, and I've said this a hundred times is the Beatles. I mean, that's pretty obvious. Oh though. yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, you, you go from, you know, hold your hand, hold my hand, uh, hold your hand, wh whoever, someone's holding someone's hand, yeah. but then, uh, then, then, you know, you end up at, I am the walrus and stuff like that. You know, that's, that's pretty rad. Yeah. It's a quite a gigantic range of just like, yeah, just the vibe is completely different. Yeah. I, I, speaking though of, of eclectic in, 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 varying vibes that let's let's talk some more about something new uh if you don't mind that yeah that song is a real journey there's some ups and downs um and there's some really cool sounds in there it definitely seems like you spent some time on sound design do you um uh, mix and master yourself i i did actually up until something new i sent it off to a dude i'd met down here and uh, he did a great job with mixing and mastering but i did arrange all this stuff in like Throw yeah. some weird sounds in there so you want to drop a name on, on the mixer mixing and yes, mastering on that absolutely. sounds great ryan raja gopal is his name he used to last time we connected he was here in nashville i think he's in la now but uh okay. i have to check on that awesome man yeah because it sounds great um i actually you know studying up for this i, I went through and listened to your what you have, have available on spotify you know oh man that must have that must have been a trip <laughs> so I, I saw that you you've been putting out stuff for a few years now how old were you when you first kind of got into uh release it you know it, i would say you know um for me it, it was probably my late teens before i really took it even kind of seriously but for you like when were you you know dr actually dropping music and you know putting your stamp on it i think my first oh gosh probably like back in middle school with some stuff on soundcloud i'd like throw it together in an afternoon and be like check this out world uh, so when you first, say like when you say middle school are you talking 12 13 14 yeah probably like 12 13 honestly oh amazing Just that's like awesome around on garage band and all that jazz see that's what i was saying you know like it was it was definitely my late teens where i took it seriously i wish i would have really jumped on it like that that's great um and, and was it would you say it was jazz band that got you like motivated to like drop me like i mean at that age i mean so many people are just trying to figure out their bodies and stuff <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know let you know so like doing something so you know creative and um you know like i mean you're literally putting stuff on spotify so it's, it's obviously you put some thought into it um you know what got you to that point you think at that age i think it was probably the mystique factor of just like having your own music out there and like i'd always yeah. enjoyed music growing up as i imagine you did and i was like oh, i want to be that person and it seems like the first step is to like make yes. some kind of product and just like distribute it oh my gosh i want to be that person i can feel that because like uh yeah when you're trying to especially you know at that age when you're trying to figure uh figure yourself out like i say beyond your body you're trying to figure out just who you are and um I think when you when you see somebody on a stage that you can relate to, uh, and and for me it was like I was a dirty trailer kid, and it was like these <laughs> rock and roll guys are kind of dirty, but they seem to have some more cash than me. So oh yeah, it, there's like there's but there's a parallel, so maybe I can get there. <laughs> um, I'm sure that's not exactly your journey, but uh, <laughs> yeah yeah. Um, man, I'm I'm just really interested with the um because like I played in orchestra in school. I did not take it seriously. I got oh, kicked out. Play? I played viola for like six years. Wow. Yeah, I would, and I, you know, I, I honestly, weirdly, I think I was like one of the favorite students, even though, 
because I think I was a challenge for the teacher, and I think maybe he liked that. And maybe, yeah, he saw, maybe there's something appealing about that. Yeah, right. Maybe and maybe he saw something in me because obviously I've stuck with music now. And and at the time I was into music, but I just didn't take like I was closed minded, you know. And so I mm -hmm. I was like a metalhead, and I you know I was in orchestra, and it was just like I I didn't see how it connected. Right. You know, it's so clear now, you know, how that that all could uh, you know intertwine and like you know one could benefit the other, but. Uh, anyway, this isn't about me. So I got a couple questions for you. Uh, as far as um, the local music scene, um, well, okay, so I guess for you, because you're in Nashville now, what would you consider your home base of, of local music scene, you know? Definitely West Michigan. Yeah, yeah okay. At least at this point. Sure, sure. And then in that scene, in the West Michigan scene that we're in, uh, is there any particular act or acts that, you know, really... Uh, inspire you i guess just as simple as that is there any acts that inspire you in this immediate area yeah i recently have become privy to like the jake Calming catalog yeah oh so, yeah like the further closer stuff the fever haze stuff i still still have more digging to do but what i've listened to sure. i'm like wow like this is this is really tight and i i suppose i know the bassist and further closer a bit just from going to rit like a lot so yeah yeah um are you talking about ross yep yeah he, oh ross is awesome he mastered he mastered your guys record yeah 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 tight. He, he, he does a good job with that stuff. Ross is great. Everyone go check out Roz is his uh, stage name. And Jake is who, um, you know, my band brother Adams has recorded um, a lot of our most recent stuff with. Yeah, and so, y'all have done a, a really killer job together. Like, speaking of eclectic music, like, my gosh. Oh, brother Adams? Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, um, like I said, you know, I, I'm inspired by people who do that. So I aspired to be like those folks. Um, and folks like yourself, you know, who also inspire me to like keep pushing myself, you know, and, and keep learning because I can tell you have this real brain for music. Um, like, what is your ultimate goal with music? Are you trying to be on stage? Like, what are you working on now? That's like, and where is it leading you? I mean, just give me a little dose of the future for Jacob Hokewater here. Yeah. Uh, so like near future, maybe like a year, I got an EP, like literally the song I'm going to play at the end of this. The drums are like sitting like in Google Drive right now, and I have to drag them in and like listen and get back to my drummer with notes on them. Oh, great! Um, so that's that's basically the stage of production I'm at, trying to finish up some instrument stuff and then cut some vocals down here, maybe with a buddy at his apartment, and then uh, you know, give it ample time to promote it and put it off into the world. So that's let's say like summer, late summer, 2021, something like that. Cool, great, great, great. And who knows where the world will be by then? Hopefully, yeah. we're Let's hope taking... a much better spot. <laughs> what social media are you most active on? Where do you want people to come find you? I'm pretty active on Instagram these days. You can find me there, and I have a Facebook page as well. And is it just at Jacob Hokewater then? Yep, Jacob Hokewater, H-O-E-K, water. What, what's this uh, last song you're going to play for us, by the it's way? It's called Streets of Gold is the name. Let me see if I can find that pick I had in here. And another That's original, cool. I presume? Yep, yeah, another original. Awesome. And this is unreleased? Yep, there's like a live version on Facebook somewhere, but unreleased. Oh, great. All right. While performing the exchange, I watched it try to hide behind your oath. The fabric desert, but it rose a hill clearly to find. I noticed too, upon your beard, one long black hair contrasting white and red. Upon your neck, some teeth surely must have left the bite. Father, where have you been? Oh, Father, where have you been? Oh, Father, where have you been? The aroma you gave off, heavy sweat and sweet perfume, silent. He's scoffing with your gaze, you saved me from eternal doom, covertly. Pocketing my cash, you blessed me, sent me on my way Wondering if my patronage would end up as the porn stars pay Father, where have you been? Oh, Father, where have you been? Oh, Father, where have you been? It's 
so cyclical The road to Jericho Spins out in a circle With toll booth upon toll Priests steal my daily bread And strip me of my clothes Leave me on the curb half dead Can't see ya tomorrow Now I'm so cynical I should've known that nothing's free Not bread or wine or will And not eternity Midst a nameless channel change, I sought asylum from the salesman Stumbled upon a prophet whose words caught my attention For only twenty bucks a month I promise you the promised land That's right, only forty bucks a month You know to save you gotta spend So brother, please beware That fiery chariot, oh it requires a fair and sister I do submit that the streets of gold are toll roads 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 Father where have you been oh father where have you been oh father where have you been oh father where have you been nice man man you always pick a beautiful chord to end on too i think oh, thanks man um I, something about that song that in in a lot of your songs that catch me are, is the lyrical content um i know we talked a lot about uh the sound and how eclectic it is and it's a journey um maybe could you tell us a little bit about lyrically uh where you're coming from a lot of the time what what it really inspires you uh thematically with your songwriting i think religion a lot um i get that yeah like i myself i'm i'm a religious dude but mm -hmm. there's just a lot to lament about like particularly i think of christianity in america today and its relationship to power and to abusing you know people who are minorities Certainly. so that song was kind of about that also just general religious manipulation um i think it's important for people who identify as religious to just like publicly lament that and be like that's messed up and uh, we have we're accountable for that, you know. So that's mainly what that song is about. I suppose there's a lot of religious things in another song too, but uh, that's what Streets of Gold is about specifically for me. How specific is it, or how important for you is it to have a, a message in your music? I think it's it's not like a requirement, but it's my natural bend. Like growing up in church, like you know, that's where I started making music. Yeah, and so yeah. there's always like a message there. And so I'm not opposed to like, just kind of like fun, like, I don't know, that almost seems like, like flippantly speaking towards the music. Like, I'm not opposed to like, quote unquote, messageless music, sure. which is kind of what I tend to go for since that's what I'm used to. Yes. I mean, sometimes you, it's just all about just capturing a vibe and, and sometimes you, you have something a little more to say. I think there's, there's validity to both. Uh, but, but what you're doing is great. It's deep musically. It's deep thematically. Um, I think there's a lot, of, a lot to be learned from uh, Jacob Hokewater songs, um, and uh, I hope people go check you out, man. I appreciate you for being here. Um, I hope this wasn't too much nonsense. I'll cut out anything where I, I sound stupid. I'll probably, you know, make you look great as well. So, oh, why, why thank you? <laughs> I think you did that yourself. I, you did that yourself, man. Um, appreciate it. Uh, you know, have have a great uh, Nashville day, bro. Yeah, have a great <laughs> West Michigan day. Enjoy it. Yeah, man. Thanks for being here. You betcha. Thanks for having me. All right. Thanks, guys.